we're going to do lug centric versus hub centric wheels. I have some hub centric wheels here. I got to get them back on here. All right, those are my dailies. These are my drag racing ones. And these are lug centric, not non hub centric. They're lug centric. All right, so the only difference between the two, the lug centric and the hub centric, is the way they're centered. All right. The hub centric is centered basically by the hub, but they're ultimately, ultimately centered by the lug nut itself, not that one. Fine, I use this one for those. It's ultimately centered with this, all right? So what this protruding part of the hub does is bring you within a fraction of 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 a freaking fraction of a, you get it? All right, so when you do clamp this down in any manner, you don't have any vibrations. All right, it makes it easy for everybody. All right, it makes it easy for the entire manufacturing industry, the uh, maintenance industry. All right, uh, hub-centric wheels just make it easy. It makes sense. All right, now, non-hub-centric, uh, lug-centric, actually centered by the lugs it's a little bit more difficult you can't just slap it on the way i do this is i'll put like this one on this one on this one on loose start tightening them down and i will look at both of these inside and make sure i have an even gap and then i will slowly crank it down and then you know of course do the pattern and whatnot and i'll clamp it down now it doesn't matter if it's lug centric oops, right here or hub centric, doesn't matter. What holds it onto the hub, this part, right here, the flat part, not the protruding part, but this flat part, what's it? What keeps the wheel on and holds the weight is the clamping force onto this, all right? That is how it works. When, when you have a heavy duty vehicle that has more, all right, they have more studs, more lug nuts, right, that's more clamping force. All right, you, you, that clamping force is what does everything. All right, and that's why they say lug centric, hub centric. All right, it's not hub supported centric, lug non supported centric. It's not how it works. All right, um, you can see why it makes sense. You don't see this, all right, in the mainstream industry or right, manufacturing anywhere because it just you don't want to have a dude you're trying to pay minimum wage screw that up right you have families riding in these vehicles it's really easy to screw up a lug centric wheel all right i take my time on each one uh usually when people have uh lug centric wheels they're usually off-road vehicles such like this deep uh, right here tight deal all right and you have professionals and individuals that, you know, usually know what they're doing, putting these wheels on, they understand that they need to be centered with the lugs. That means you can't just slap it on there. But when you have hub centric wheels, get a flat tire, jack up the car, take off, you know, the, your uh, flat, put your spare on, throw on your lug nuts. And you don't even really have to pay attention. You really don't even have to do a, a pattern basically to be safe. You can get it to where you need to go once, you know, it'll get to a shop from there, you know, but a uh, non hub centric lug centric, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. You could put your spare tire on, you know, and make things worse. Now you got this giant vibration and you're trying to drive 40, 50 miles an hour down the freeway, you know, so just making sense of things. All right. It's the clamping force, clamping force that holds everything together here, all right? This is just a protruding part of the hub. So if you see anywhere where, you know, the weight of the vehicle is on the hub, this part, the flat part, all right, the flat part, not the protruding part. The only time this protruding part holds any weight of the wheel, or should be holding any weight of the wheel, is when you've taken all the nuts off, all right, when you're removing and installing the wheel. It's the only time you can slap it up on there. That's what that's actually for, just to slap it up on there. 
you get your lug nuts in there, it's actually going to center out more. Like I say, take an electron microscope, look in there in a hub-centric wheel with everything on there, there will be a gap. All right, some dudes have tried to explain that physical gap that's actually there, but it's kind of hard. Some dudes don't get it, you know. But that's the way it is. The wheel doesn't move, whether it's hub-centric or not. Once these conicals are in there, there should be no movement. If there is any type of movement, you have problems coming. Bad ones. All right, so there's no movement. All right, so movement means that it is touching this protruding part. No movement means that it is not. Alright, so that's that's how it is. It's lug centric, hub centric. The only difference one is centered by the lugs, the other is centered by the help of the protruding part of the hub. Hot <laughs> damn hell yeah. Alright, now I know a lot of guys want to know about the rings. Well what about the rings, the hub centric rings that you can put in here? Well, all the hub-centric ring does is help out that guy that doesn't know how to really center it properly. You can put the ring in there and it centers it. There's two types of rings, plastic and metal. You're going to find the plastic ring mostly on light-duty vehicles, and you're going to find the metal ring on heavy-duty vehicles. One handles heat better than the other. One is easier to manufacture than the other. One is cheaper than the other. One is necessary, one is not, all right? That's how that works. That's why there's a metal and a plastic, okay? All the hub-centric ring does is help, all right, center the wheel. It does not hold any of the weight, none of it. Oh, yeah, baby. That's it. That's how it is. That's how it works. Hot damn. You think I'm wrong? Fight me.